Hello, this is Gary B. Um, some of you have asked for a build of my Berserker Ranger. It's very simple. We'll go over some of these things real quick. Okay, first of all, the armor. You want to make sure that all your armor is Berserker set. You can farm um, multiple dungeons to get the Berserker set armor, like COE, COF, etc. Make sure it has power precision, critical damage. And to max out your um, critical damage and power and precision, just buy ruby orbs. They're a lot cheaper than some of those runes, like the rune of divinity. Um, for longbow, well, I like to run longbow and greatsword for multiple reasons. Um, it's make this is my world versus world combat character. Uh, it's not very good to, idea to bring them into dungeons. AC is okay, um, but most other ones. You're real squishy. So for the longbow, you want the Berserker longbow. And I put in the Superior Sigil of Accuracy to give myself more precision. And for the Greatsword, instead of a Berserker's Greatsword, I chose to go with the Power Toughness Vitality Greatsword. Because um, if you're going to be meleeing with a squishy character, it'd be better to have a little bit more toughness and vitality. And to make up for that little loss of damage, I put in the Superior Sigil of Force to give yourself an extra 5% damage with that. I've seen um, multiple occasions the number 2 attack on this, which is the strongest attack. Uh, I've seen it go upwards of 7,000 in one blow, which is nice. Uh, for accessories, the backpack, everything is Berserkers. So you can uh, farm fractals or... Um, trade in your laurels and do guild missions to get um, the earrings. I have yet to get those for this one so I'm just using the ruby or calcum earrings with the uh, exquisite ruby jewel in them. All berserker sets. Very simple. Okay for traits uh, it's 30, 30, 5, and 5. So 30 in marksmanship you want 1 8 and 10. Um, damage increases by 10% when endurance is full. All arrow attacks pierce targets. This is really nice because in world versus world, the more people you hit, if they go down, you get more bags of loot, you rank up quicker. Real nice. And Eagle Eye increases longbow, harpoon gun range, and damage by 5%. This is awesome. It'll make your uh, your attacks go from 1,200 to 1,500. So you can sit up on walls all day long, and as long as you don't get pulled off, you're pretty good. You can hit people from really far away, keep them from uh, waypointing. Under skirmishing, uh, which is your precision and your critical damage, um, precision and critical damage, you want 2, 10, and 12. And that's a chance to cause bleeding on critical hits. Uh, I have a lot of precision, so you want to get those critical hits, you cause bleeding all the time. Um, shortbow and longbow skills recharge 20% faster, so if you do want to play, if you do like playing with a shortbow, this is good to use too. And the last one is moment of clarity, gain an attack of opportunity for you and your pet on interrupting a foe. Um, this increases uh, days and stun durations by 50%, so it basically is like almost uh, a guaranteed critical hit whenever you interrupt a foe. And the other ones are just a couple things to give you a little bit of healing, your pet attributes. Uh, this is really nice. At Zephyr speed, you and your pet gain two seconds of quickness when you swap pets. So swapping a pet's one in your combat mode makes your attacks go faster, which is nice. And your endurance regeneration by 50%. You want that to, uh, to stay full because you get that extra 10% damage. Um, what else? Also... If you've noticed, uh, critical chance, even with all berserkers, everything is at 61%. So you might want to invest in getting a um, uh, another two weapons that both have the superior sigil of perception. That way, whenever you first get into world versus world match, you can go down and get an extra 250 stacks, which I am going to do right now. Another thing for pets... Um, it doesn't really matter what you choose, but for above ground, I like to use the healing bear or the uh, brown bear because they remove conditions and the uh, P 
panther because they can they can go invisible and attack people without them really knowing it. And underwater, I just like the shark and the uh, the jellyfish because they have some nice little moves. I like the shark. So you get into a world, you just start getting your stacks. Uh, for skills. Um, you want to have the Healing Spring, Quickening Zephyr, Protect Me, and Increase Movement Speed, and Rampages 1 increases your criticals. The reason I like to use um, the Warhorn and the Axe is because uh, Warhorn, has, Warhorn has that nice little Gain Fury, give you that extra precision and damage, and the axe its attacks bounce between targets as you see I've just killed three enemies and I already have six stacks of accuracy okay so after you get your stacks you notice that your precision will go up to 73 percent now there's a couple things I use to uh, increase my precision like bowls of butternut squash soup and maintenance oils it gets it up to 81 percent now whenever you use rampages one it gives you an extra 20 percent critical chance which will then make your critical chance 101 percent so all your hits when you're in rampages one are criticals um, what I usually do whenever I find an enemy is I'll shoot a hunter shot at them first to get them that vulnerability um, activate Quickening Zephyr and use the number two rapid fire. The highest damage I've ever um, achieved with rapid fire when all the arrows hit was over 18,000. So it is pretty good. I'll start recording a demonstration as soon as I find somebody. Okay, there seems to be an enemy Zerg in front of me. Now, at this point, it's good to get away from him. But we'll see what we can do. So hit him with your number three, number two with your number seven. That was 8,898 damage. He is down. Go ahead and take care of him. Now I do have my great sword out. The number three is great for uh, getting around things. See that number two, 3,800 damage. That number five kind of butts him down can't get back up. 6,000 damage there with the number two again. This person looks like they want some business. So I'll put that there to try to slow them down a little bit. Okay, now this is what happens when you get thieves. Go ahead and swing in the circle. See if you can find them. Now the number four the counterattack blocks attacks for six seconds, which is great. When paired with Protect Me, it'll keep you alive whenever you're in the thick of things. Now, the reason I like to use a longbow is the further you are away from them, the more damage you do. And when you're playing as a glassy character, you like to stay away. Alright, here we have an engineer. And then with the number three, he went invisible. See, I can still hit him from here. See that piercing attacks, hitting multiple people, switch weapons. That person's probably going to get away, but that's okay. I'll just hold out here. See that number four is pretty nice. Protect me. Healing. I cannot protect that. Now I'm getting a little overwhelmed. So I'll use my number four to block, my number three to get away. did get me here, but I was alone, but I'll find another one.
Okay, this tower is under siege at the moment. So I'll show you what you can do to get through it. If you need to get through a thing, just activate Rampage's one to give you extra speed. Hit Protect Me. Use your number four to get through. And there you go. And that's how you get in a, a castle that's under siege. Talk about some uh, tactics here. Now I'm pretty sure this place is going to be lost. Wish that wasn't obstructed. Let's be on the outside edges. And fire in the crowds. You'll see them scatter. See that one person's down. Four thousand, forty-two hundred with one hit, which is pretty nice. This is all about doing damage. Now this tower is going to be going down here. That's for sure. 